I just got the new update for um, Premiere Pro for Cinema DNGs, and um, uh, there are some issues. There are some issues here now. Um, yes, it does read the Cinema DNGs, but um, there is a problem uh, with them when you import them, as you can see here. Um, they got a pink cast in them um, for some reason um, they're not the bearing properly or, or whatever you but here on this one here I this is a um, this one here is an import um, After Effects uh, project uh, AE uh, P as you see uh, project and I imported that and yet it displayed it properly and that was with the um, the ACR uh, plugin uh, Adobe Camera Raw plugin um, and it displayed it properly but if you bring the DNGs, the Cinema DNGs in and this is what you get now um, I found a way to uh, to get the pink cast off and basically uh, what I did was in the effects browser um, I just went to auto color and I just uh, do, 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 and voila um, that's pretty much what it's supposed to look like and same thing here I just turned it off there we go same deal um, pretty darn close to what it was um, for so, so if you do an auto color, it looks like uh, you could play with the effects, but you did an auto color, so that's more like a you know, obviously does a, a white balance and all that. There you go. So if you want to, there's two ways to go about this: is either do your get your AC uh, your camera Adobe Camera Raw plugin through um, uh, After Effects, do your adjustment do your pre-grade uh, noise reduction and all that kind of stuff um, and then import it into um, say it was a project you can import your project and then when you have your image the way it's supposed to look like now or the other way that I can see um, there will be more people uh, working with this in the next few days is to I find just do an auto color and then start from there and you can do your edits and whatever whatever you want to do um, so yeah there you go that's the new um, uh, update for Adobe Premiere